one fateful night my parents gave their lives for me. They became my heroes, their legacy untouchable. Until I learned the truth. My father, Thomas Wayne, was a criminal. He ruled over Gotham from the shadows. And everything I thought I knew about myself changed forever. The children of Arkham exposed the truth about my father to Gotham. Their attack turned friends into enemies and threw the city into chaos. I was committed to Arkham Asylum, where I escaped with the help of a mental patient named John Doe. After a bloody battle, I put an end to it all in the catacombs beneath the city. The Penguin, Two-Face, and Lady Arkham were the first real challenge I faced as the Batman, but they would not be the last. Spring has arrived in Gotham, and with it comes City Hall's quarterly crime report. Crime is way down since the fall of the children of Arkham, marking another triumph for newly minted police commissioner James Gordon. In a statement this morning, Gordon credited his success to the public partnership between the police and the Batman. He praised the mysterious vigilante for his sacrifice, describing him as essential to the security of the city. Things are looking up, citizens. After the long, dark winter comes the thaw. Now, if only the night could win a game, everyone would be happy. Lucky 13! There it is. Rumi Mori, import export magnet, one time Pipex CEO. International arms dealer. The world sees Maury as a legitimate businessman. A philanthropist who gives to charity. Not a criminal getting rich off the suffering of innocence. A masterful performance. I wonder... If a man hides in plain sight for that long, does he forget who he really is? What do you think, Master Bruce? Must be hard to stay true to yourself. I don't. I never forget what drives me. Protecting the innocent from people like Mori. That stays the same no matter what mask I wear. Don't I know? Masks are hard to maintain. If there are cracks in Mori's, we'll find them. The GCPD already bugged his penthouse and found nothing. Meaning that if he's doing arms deals in Gotham... They happen on the casino floor. I need to find a way to hear what Mori is saying. Standing by for support. Look for something with a microphone. The bat computer can intercept his... He certainly enjoys the good life, doesn't he? Red of Fortune running guns during the Arab Spring. Diversified into biotech shortly after. From what I understand, he's not one for pinching pennies. Well, looks like roulette is his Achilles heel. He has a reputation for being lucky, but then you don't need luck when you own the house. Hotel security are guarding him particularly close. A man like Mori counts more enemies than friends. I wonder why that is. I could hack the cameras, but I've already got visual. I need to hear him. Al, I'm hacking into Mori's phone. Encrypting your signal. Last thing we want is for him to know you're here. We're in. You should be able to pick up audio from Mori's phone. Is everyone enjoying themselves? Don't worry. I won't tell anyone with a bad... He's on a roll. <laughs> it's only a matter of time before he gets too chatty. <laughs> Try to blend in. So, I've been sitting over there wondering, what's Bruce Wayne doing in a place like this? I figured you went to fancier casinos. Some place where only high rollers go. I'm looking for something different. New thrills. Well, it's a good thing you're here. And it's a good thing I'm here. You? What in the 
hell are you doing here? Stop me if you've heard this one before. I begin and have no end. And I end all that begins. Who am I? I don't give a damn. I told you ten times. Our arrangement is over. Death, Mori. I am death. Something's happening, and it doesn't look like a deal. The man in the hood. I remember him from your father's time. I think that's Riddler. Is something wrong? You seem distracted. Bruce! You think your gibberish intimidates Hello? me? That's him! You'd better gear up! You can't just blow me off! How about we go back to my place? Oh. I'll call my driver. Meet me outside? Well, since you put it like that, I never do this, you know. You know, me neither. No one threatens me in my own casino! Security! Sir, it's time to leave. For you? An easy one. What question can you never answer yes to? I don't give a crap, let's go! <sighs> Wrong. The correct answer is are you dead? <laughs> now, let's get started. Get out of there! Get your suit! Al, let Gordon know what's happening. Right away! Hey! No one leaves! audio now. Gordon. Batman, what's the status? Multiple gunmen, hostages at the casino. A madman in a mask. Riddler's back in Gotham. Riddler? He hasn't been seen in years. Well, he's putting on quite a show. There's a squad on the way. They'll be there shortly. Be ready for a fight. Please, please, we can make the deal. Anything you want. Our issues can't be solved with handshakes, Maury. This is what happens when you back out of a deal with me. There's only one way you're getting out of this alive. You have to solve a riddle. And I choose my words carefully if I were you. Listen closely. No, please, don't do this. Without fingers, I point. Without arms, I strike. Without feet, I run. Who am I? I've got visual. That drone, fully functional. I'll need a place to drop in without being noticed. Time for some recon. It's a tricky one, isn't it? A mind bender that... Riddler. A terror from the past. I never thought I'd see him on our streets again. He's not to be taken lightly. It's the kind of conundrum that drives you to distraction. Riddler's taken hostages, casino patrons, innocent bystanders. And they're clearly not his main target. Must be an insurance policy. Believe me, I know. Remember. Some kind of torture device. Doesn't seem like he's getting out until he guesses the riddle. This Riddler certainly has an imagination. But don't think you can just stall. I will get bored. 
You won't like that. Cashier's booth. That'll do. Just need to take out the guard first. Audio playback fully functional. Time for a distraction. What the? I'm losing patience, Maury. Are you expecting a hint? Give me an answer! Batman! We can't get in. The front's covered by gunmen and they've got the back barricaded with blackjack tables. How should I deploy when we're inside? I'm relying on your eyes and ears. What's the best course of action? We need a distraction. Find a way to limit their line of sight. Sounds like a plan. You're completely insane! No? I don't believe that's it. I'll clear a path. Wait for my signal. Give him hell. We're counting on you. You're ahead of schedule. I'm a little busy right now, but I'll see if I can fit you in. Not him, the hostage! Shoot the hostage! isn't using his head. Break it open. With pleasure. I've heard stories in the streets about you, Batman. You're the biggest name in Gotham since... Well... Since I left town. Everyone's very impressed with you. <laughs> I'm not impressed. Gotham's criminals have become zealots and thugs in cheap suits. And you... I've come home to find a wannabe in my chair. Eating my goddamn porridge! This is my city! Now I'm back. All you scum are the same. Only thing that changes is the mask. Spoken like a man who sees the world in black and white. Allow me to broaden your spectrum. You're supposedly the world's greatest detective. Yet here you are, completely at my mercy. I don't Gordon, see much no. evidence of the... <laughs> to be kidding. Clever, but not smart enough. Let me show you how it was done back in the day. It just doesn't do it for me.
power lines. There must be a weak point. That's cheating! Think I care about your rules? I'd heard you were a man who followed a code. Why would you save that dirtbag's life? Maury made his money running guns, trading off the suffering of war. I believe in justice. Maury deserves a trial in a court of law. If he's guilty, his cell will be right next to yours. Justice? Ridiculous. Either way, you won't be the one to put me there. You know how to scrap. I'll give you that. But it's not enough. Let's see how you do with something a little more cerebral. Better hurry, detective. Solve my puzzle soon. Or people are gonna get hurt. And we know you can't let that happen. You should have called us before going in, Gordon. Waller? After all, we're here to help. Circuitry inside, but nothing obviously dangerous. The back computer will be able to analyze further. Your days are numbered, bat freak. We'll see each other. Again. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Keep one eye on the sky, jerk offs. Heavens are gonna fall on your goddamn heads! Tell me all about it, down at the precinct. The Riddler's right hand in custody? Not a bad result, all told. Riddler used to leave clues at all his crime scenes. Always thought he was smarter than the people trying to catch him. Thought we could use help dragging him down. He got a sick pleasure out of taunting us. That's because he hadn't met me. That's for damn sure. You don't know how glad I am you're here, working with the police. Riddler's heyday was a dark time in Gotham. What we just saw, he hasn't mellowed with age. Uh-huh. Get Fernandez on it right away. Commissioner Gordon! Brace yourself. Just so you know, this woman has a lot of juice with the governor. Rub her the wrong way. I could end up on foot patrol till I retire. My people are trained for situations like this, Gordon. We'd have Riddler in custody if you'd only picked up the phone. So, you're the legendary Batman. I've heard a great deal.
deal about you. So much so, I don't know if I should believe the hype. And you are. This is Amanda Waller, director of the agency. What are the feds doing here? Riddler's their case. The GCPD has been asked to open their doors to them. Give them whatever they need. We've been tracking that maniac for some time. No one knows more about him than we do. World-class criminals like Riddler. They're kind of our specialty. If you were tracking him, why didn't you tell us he was coming? We get a lot of unverified reports. I wanted to be sure. Now we know. Riddler used to be a player in Gotham back when Thomas Wayne and Falcone ran the city. He disappeared so suddenly and for so long, everyone thought he was dead. Everyone was wrong. Riddler's back, and if these theatrics are anything to go by, he wants the whole city to know. My people tell me you did some good work handling him, Batman. You and me? I bet we'd make a damn fine team. I heard how you dealt with Lady Arkham. Not to mention the city's corrupt mayor, Dent. We could do great things together if we joined forces. Whatever you think you can bring to the table, I don't need it. You knew me even a little. You wouldn't hesitate. Trust me, you want me on your side. The only real problem with your setup is who you're working with. Local law enforcement clearly can't touch. I got a local crime rate says otherwise. <laughs> Ms. Waller? Please, Commissioner. Tear gas. In a hostage situation, we got an ambulance full of civilians with their eyes swollen shut. Not to mention you let business slip through your fingers. You GCPD cowboys clearly don't know what you're doing. You're putting all this on me? You're the commanding officer, aren't you? Or are those stars purely for show? You can't put this on Jim. I call for a distraction. Then maybe you're not as impressive as I thought. I'm here to prevent this incompetence in the future. I gotta get a security detail on Maury while he's in the hospital. Agent Avesta will fill you in on what we know so far, as a token of interdepartmental cooperation. The nerve on her. Don't tell these people a thing, especially about that puzzle. This is our town. We're the ones that'll catch Riddler. Ooh, I thought she was gonna bite your head off for a second. Uh, I'd like to see her try. Special Agent Iman Vesta, Field Intelligence Specialist on the Riddler case. And my partner, Agent Blake. How do you do? I put together this psychological profile of Riddler. You'll see when you read it. He's... changed. For your eyes only. <laughs> if you catch my drift. The target of the casino attack, Rumi Mori. Any idea what Riddler wanted with him? We figure it has something to do with why he's back in Gotham. I heard them talking about some kind of deal. Any idea what? No. But it'd be safe to say they didn't come to terms. Thanks. That's a help. <clears throat> I'm Gotham born and raised, you know. My dad ran a store in the shadow of City Stadium. I just wanted to say it's a real honor to meet you. I do have something I want to ask, though. The criminally insane. You're drawn to them, aren't you? There's something in you that pulls you towards the danger. The chaos. The energy. You can't go two city blocks in Gotham without tripping over criminal scum. Most people just get up and run away. I'm not most people. I think I know you a little better now. I'll be in touch, Agent. Batman, before you go, Gotham's your city. I respect that. But you should know I don't have to play nice. I'm letting you hunt the Riddler for now. You better share everything you find. Or this courtesy call is going to become something you really won't like. You get me? There's a lot of ways this could go.
restful evening. I have taken the liberty of preparing some refreshments. Uh, thanks, Alf. I need to focus. Maybe music will help. I need something... The computer is finished scanning the Riddler's puzzle box. It's ready when you are. Let's get to work. No explosives detected, no radioactivity. Nothing dangerous at all so far. Computer, run another scan. I want to be absolutely sure this thing is safe. Also, I took the liberty of digging up everything I could find on the agency. There's plenty here. Know your enemy and all that. It... it comes and goes. Ever since the kidnapping and, and all the other business with Lady Arkham. Alfred. <coughs> no, no, don't you worry about me. I, I, I should be fine. It was worse after my first tour of duty. Your family. We worry about family. Thank you, Bruce. It'll pass. Working always helps. The Agency. The public face of a shadow committee of military leaders, intelligence experts, and government officials. Civil rights violations, domestic black sites, decentralized accountability. This information, it's all before Waller took over the director position. Perhaps she's given them a new direction. Maybe. The agency's empowered to override local law enforcement with impunity. Oh, that man's got some competition in town. I wonder if we need be worried about losing our unpaid and thoroughly exhausting job, I mean. The Riddler's a flashy homicidal maniac with a thing for puzzles, and Waller and her agency might be just as dangerous. Again, Waller may be running a more ethical operation these days. Riddler terrorized this city long before you were Batman. Gotham's original costume criminal. Yes, to have him returned, it's unsettling. I remember when he was the scourge of the underworld. Even Carmine Falcone gave him a wide berth. He was presumed dead for so long. Why come back to Gotham? Well, he seemed to have a prior relationship with Mori. Some kind of axe to grind. Let me upload the rest of this to the Codex. The agency realized Riddler was still alive when he orchestrated a prison break at Peña Duro. My men here say you let yourself be caught, Mr. Riddler. Just Riddler. Why willingly turn yourself in? Oh, Mr. Warden. To get everyone else out, of course. That wasn't obvious. The man's deranged. If you ask me, he needs help. He's clearly sick. The man is in urgent need of a doctor. I know just the place for him. Plenty of room at Arkham Asylum. Next to him, most of the inmates seem like a picture of health. What was that? You should see your face. It's confusion. It's delightful. I think I'll take it with me. I take everything back. In 
and see what Riddler's little gift is all about. Solve my puzzle soon, or people will get hurt. But, uh, Riddler's M.O. hasn't changed in all these years. There's writing engraved along the rim. I have an eye, yet cannot see. Who am I? That sounds familiar. I've heard it before. Don't happen to remember the answer, do you? Sadly, no. The eye of a needle. But how does that relate to the object in question? Maybe it's telling us how to use it. Uh, sounds very plausible. Look at these strange grooves. Vicky Vale, a.k.a. Lady Arkham, driven to madness, leader of the children of Arkham. Needle. A record needle. Halfway there, Batman. Means you've got half a chance of stopping a whole lot of pain. To be honest, you're already doing better than I thought. But don't sit around feeling pleased with yourself, unless you want to see me tear this city apart. I suppose you're going to look in there. An open invitation from the Riddler? Of course. Huh. Looks like I'm manipulating radio bands or waveforms, something. I'm not sure what I'm looking at or how any of it is actually displaying. And that sound? What? Oh, uh... I'm not really sure about any of it. Get Lucius on the line, will you? Hey, Alfred. Good morning, Lucius. I hope we're not interrupting your breakfast. My youngest is probably stealing all the bacon, but duty calls. What's up? This is a puzzle from the Riddler. There's a strange waveform pattern I can manipulate inside that needs your expertise. I, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, I can meet you at Wayne Tower in a little bit. We'll, uh, fire up the R&D lab. I wouldn't ask if it wasn't important, Lucius. No, no, don't worry about it. It's actually gonna be a big day for me. Tiffany starts at Wayne Enterprises. Tiffany? Really? Your daughter, working alongside you. How wonderful. Uh, certainly is. Bruce, I'll see you soon. Bye, Lucius. Can't wait to see Tiffany. I'll be at Wayne Town. Good hunting, Bruce. Excellent. Glad I caught you. I have some good news to share. Good to hear it, Regina. It's what I've come to expect, with you as Wayne Enterprises chairperson. I just talked to the board, and they couldn't be more pleased with the progress of the Arkham remodel. Seems like you made the right call when you decided to take that contract over the GCPDs. The Gazette's running a piece about it. Look, I would love to hear all the details, but I've got a meeting with Lucius I've got to run to. Well, I don't mean to pry, but... What's in that case? 
Seems like an odd thing to be carrying around the office. Oh, just some tax papers. Accounting is doing an audit or something. Well, you shouldn't have to be burdened with that. I can take them. It's okay. I got it. Well, I've got a meeting I've got to run to. We'll pick up this conversation this afternoon. Sounds great. You're in my chair. Just updating the encryption on your bat tech. But if you want me to stop? No, no, the seat is all yours. This is the thing you were talking about? One of Riddler's puzzles. Some kind of test. Show me. Huh. Any idea what he's planning? Not yet. That's why I need your help. If his history is anything to go by, he left us a clue. A psychological profile of Riddler. Uh, knowing how his mind works, this should come in handy. No sign of explosives or poison. Already scanned for that in the cave. Look at that. Micropulse waveform. Ah, and the sound it's giving off. A signal, maybe? <laughs> I couldn't decipher it. I was hoping you could help with that. I'll see what I can do. Shouldn't take long. What in the... It's not one of mine. Think fast. Tiffany? Hey, Bruce. Tip my god, Tiffany. It's been a while. Sneaking out of orientation your first day? I just wanted to say hi to my new boss. I got you a present. A micro drone prototype I developed in my spare time. High-end AV, stealth black shell, programmable for autonomous observation. Small, quiet, and super smart. Just like its designer. Not bad, huh? You always had a thing for toys. It's so hard to know what to get a man who has everything. Well, I'm strange, but I'm not that into projectiles being aimed at my head. Oh, I'm sorry, Bruce. I didn't... <sighs> <laughs> What's a little drone strike between friends, right? Hmm. Great first impression, huh? Keep it anyway. It's a pretty useful little gadget, if I say so myself. Huh. There's something different about you. Uh, there is. And I don't just mean what happened to your ear. I can't quite put my finger on it. But you look... You look... You look... Well, please just don't say old. Well, now that you mention it. Hey, play nice. Bruce has had a rough year. Interesting. Don't. Too late. Already touching. Just be careful. What a strange thing. The circuitry design. It's elaborate and unorthodox. Almost intentionally so. Like whoever put it together was kind of showing off. Huh. Micro pulse waves? It's just weird. Seriously, what is this thing? I've never seen anything like it. It's like whoever made it. Pretty cool, huh? I don't know if cool would be the word I would use. I can hear it hum. What does it do? That's what we're trying to work out. You guys are lucky I'm here to help. Uh, help with... Figure this freakish thing out. Uh, Tiffany did graduate first in her class at Cornell in molecular engineering. Let me take a crack at it. I can help you get to the bottom of this. Figure out what it does. All right, if you think you can help, then be my guest. Oh, I know I can help. I just gotta let him know that I won't be finishing up orientation. Uh, no problem. Oh, I was planning on swinging by the manor after work to see Alfred. I heard he wasn't doing so well. That he was having some issues with his health? He 
he would love that. I hope he isn't still angry with me and Luke about that incident with the China. Well, you know, Al, no one messes with his dinnerware. Catch you guys later. Welcome aboard, Tiffany. Thanks, boss. All right, then. Time to crack this puzzle. I never told her, you know. Told her what I really do at Wayne Enterprises. What uh, we do. If you're willing to pull her into this Riddler project, why not consider bringing her into the fold? Into the mission? We're going to need help if we're going to be dealing with the likes of Riddler. And we can trust her. You know how dangerous our business is. I couldn't live with myself if something happened to Tiffany. I'm just gonna have to say no. It's your secret to tell. Yes, it is. May I just say, uh, burdens are lighter when carried by many. Well, shall we go down to the lab? Actually, the equipment we need is down in my office. We'll get this taken care of in no time. Mr. Wayne. Uh, yes? I'm Special Agent Avesta. This is my partner, Special Agent Blake. Uh, well, I guess I'll see you in a bit. I'll be down in my office. Whenever you, uh, get down here. Keep me in the loop about that, uh, thing. Will do. Sorry for the unannounced visit. We're with the Agency's Behavioral Analysis Unit. We just came by to ask a few questions. Is this gonna take long? It's not really a good time. I'm afraid this meeting isn't optional. You'll just have to put up with us for a few minutes. This office, it really represents you. Well, I'd like to think so. Is this you? Yeah. How old? I don't know, seven, eight, maybe. <laughs> so happy. After everything you've been through, I don't know how you still do it. Do what, exactly? It wasn't long ago when you were the most hated man in Gotham, yet you still give so much back to the city. Why do you continue to help Gotham? Most people wouldn't be so charitable after that. What's that all about? My father did a lot of damage to a lot of people. I'm just trying to make things right. Thomas Wayne did cast a long, dark shadow. It must be difficult to get out from under it. What, uh... What is it you want? The agency recently brought me in to draft a psychological portrait of the Riddler. We've been tracking him for months, but haven't been able to find him. Anything I can help with? See, I told you you'd be cooperative. Agent Blake thought you'd be cagey, defensive, based on your history. Guess he was wrong. My, uh, my history? A lot of things happened to you last year, and not all of them were good. You helped the GCPD capture Oswald Cobblepot, better known as the Penguin. He was a terrorist, a member of the Children of Arkham, and your friend. Come to think of it, you've been associated with quite a few psychopaths over the years. I wouldn't go that far. I would. The criminally insane, they seem drawn to you. Either that, or you're often in the wrong place at the wrong time. They're not attracted to me any more than the average citizen. We live in one of the most dangerous cities in the world, right? Stands to reason I'd run into a few psychos. Like this guy. I think you'd know him as John Doe. We understand that it was during your stay in Arkham where you and John met and became friends. From the sound of it, you two were close. John may very well say that, yes. But not you. A conversation in a mental hospital does not make us friends, much less close. 
I see. According to hospital records, you and John were involved in a riot. They captured the whole incident on video. John cut another inmate, a man named Victor Zaz. Then you jumped into the fray. Several people were hurt. I was... I was trying to break up a fight. I don't blame you. You must have been scared. John was discharged from Arkham months ago. No one has seen or heard from him since. I was thinking maybe you have. <laughs> Why would you think that? He listed you as his emergency contact. Uh, sounds like you two were pretty close to me. Sounds like something a crazy person would do. Maybe you made an impression on him. Well, I haven't seen or heard from him, so... Did he do something wrong? He's a person of interest. You see, we've got a wall in the office with a bunch of photos pinned to it. Two-Face, Penguin, Lady Arkham, you know, Gotham's most notorious. They've got all these little strings connecting them to one another, like a web. And you, my friend, are at the center. You keep pretty strange company for someone who wants everyone to think they're such a stand-up guy. I'm sorry, are you, are you accusing me of something? Should we be? You know more than you're letting on, Mr. Wayne. Maybe you're afraid. Maybe you don't trust us. Or maybe you're a criminal, like your father. Maybe you're not the hero people think you are. <laughs> You've got the wrong idea. That's an evacuation warning. It's time for you to leave. We'll pick this up another time. Bruce, get my daughter out of the building. Get yourself out. What are you talking? What did you figure out? I've I've solved the Riddler's puzzle, Bruce. <sighs> Riddler really pulled a good one over on us. You just hold tight, Lucius. I'm coming down to help. It's too late for that. Tell Tiffany that I love her. That I'm sorry I wasn't around more. Lucius! We really made a difference, didn't we? Batman? Lucius! died last Tuesday in the violent blast. A small service is being held for the tech giant and father of three at Divinity Church this Sunday. <sighs> you don't have to worry, Lucius. Tiffany... I'm gonna take care of your family, as if they were my own. Just like Lucius took care of you. Lucius helped raise you, Bruce. It was family. Riddler's attack on the casino was one thing, but this, this is personal. We can't let him get away with it. Riddler struck at the heart of our operations and tore a family apart in the process. We need to put Riddler behind bars. Of course, it won't bring poor Lucius back. I can't imagine how devastated she must be to lose her father in such a violent way. <laughs> I should go talk to her. Yes. She can use all the support she can get. Hey, <laughs> Tiffany. I still can't believe he's gone. None of this. None of this feels real. Tiffany, I... I know what you're going through. I remember what it was like when I lost my parents. 
that uh, sudden emptiness. There's no feeling like it in the world. I don't think it'll ever go away. It certainly didn't for me. He loved working for you, you know? They hardly saw him at home because of it. Mom used to complain my little brother was growing up without a dad. Now I guess it's true. He was so busy. I can't remember the last time I got to hang out with him. Just father and daughter. I just thought there'd be more time. There were so many things I wanted to talk to him about. I asked a lot of him. Maybe too much. And he gave it all, didn't he? A real company man. Well, I hope it was worth it. <sighs> Tiffany... I'm sorry. I know I shouldn't blame you. Hey, 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 it's okay. It's okay. Just let it out. I'm just... trying to wrap my head around it all. I saw his remains, Bruce. There... there was hardly anything left. What were you guys working on that could have caused that? It, it doesn't quite add up. Please tell me. Tiffany, I will tell you soon. Just not here. What do you mean? Why not? It's not the right time. Hot, Bruce. What are you mixed up in? Fine. Just... Tell me one thing. That weird disc. Was that what killed him? Did you put my father's life at risk for that? I'm begging you. Just tell me that one thing. I need to know. I thought it was safe, Tiffany. I, I really did. I had no idea Lucius could get hurt. Please forgive me. Forgive you? I hope you can forgive yourself. Whatever you got my father into, I will find out. And I will shout it to the world. All be grateful. You... you knew my father. Well, no, but judging by all the lovely people here, he... Whoa, whoa! What the heck? Seriously, Bruce? This guy's with you. I'm so sorry. I will handle this. Jeez, Bruce, that's quite a grip. Gonna leave a bruise for sure. What are you doing here? I told you I'd see you again, didn't I? You and me, we're two threads in the same stitch. Look, I, I, I got you a little something just, just to mark the occasion. I knew you'd be hurting, see? I thought it might make you feel better. Um, thank you, John. That's very considerate of you. Oh, good. I wasn't sure. First time at a funeral, you see. People get upset at the littlest things. It hasn't, um... It hasn't been easy for me out here, you know? I'm 
the new guy now. It's the freedom that gets to you. There's so damn much you hardly know what to do with it. <laughs> it's not like Arkham. Sometimes I miss those padded walls. You knew where the lines were drawn. Which ones not to cross? <laughs> you can't possibly mean that. Arkham is hell. It was my home, Bruce. And home is where the heart is. I'm almost sorry that I convinced Dr. Leland to release me. If everyone could please take their seats, uh, we will begin. Would you just sit down? Today we gather to honor the memory of Lucius Fox. He was a friend, a father, a husband, a leader. You are crashing my friend's funeral, John. You better have a good reason. Oh, I do. I need that, uh, favor you owe me. For settling the score with Zaz, and, you know, getting you out of Arkham. You're, you're gonna do right by me, aren't you? I know you're a man of your word. Whatever I said in Arkham, it doesn't matter now. The deal is off. I got into a lot of trouble for what we did, Bruce. You saw that place. Saw those doctors. A vital link in our chain has left us. Matthew tells us. You see, I met some inspiring people out here. Made some new friends. Made a kind of pact. They're amazing, Bruce. That special breed who live by their own rules. They remind me of you. Of your father. So who are they? You'll find out when you meet them. They're looking to bring someone like you into the fold. I, you, you will meet them for me, won't you? Please? I've, I've got a lot riding on this. I already told them you would. Please don't let me down. I'd be happy to chat with your friends, John. Just say when and where. Oh, I was so hoping you'd say that. We are going to have so much fun. I knew this would work out. This air between us, this is real. You can't force this kind of friendship. I want to commemorate the moment. The guys will be so excited. Now, what filter should I use? Put that away. This is a funeral, for God's sake. I'm sorry. I got so caught up in it all, I completely forgot. I just know you're gonna hit it off with the guys. I should warn you, though. I've got an enemy. Real piece of work. Calls himself the Riddler. How do you know the Riddler? Know him? I want to rip his eyeballs out. He's a thief and a killer, and worst of all, he's... he's rude. I tried to let the authorities know the kind of lowlife they're dealing with, but... Wait a minute, you know him too. Of course, a man of Bruce Wayne's caliber knows everyone, so I shouldn't be surprised. Uh, just from the news, the guy's clearly a murderer, sick in the head. Don't know the half of it. If I had my way, that smarmy know-it-all would never leave his hole. You mean his hole? You know where he is. No, not, not exactly, no. Maybe I said too much. Tell me where he is. I am not messing around, John. Oh, Bruce. <laughs> I missed your fire. I really did. Yeah, I, I really don't know much. I heard the egomaniac always made people go to him for meetings. Somewhere in the East End. Where in the East End? Honestly, that's all I know. And even that might be out of date. 
If you're so eager to find him, why don't you let me help you? I'll find out where he is and get back to you. See if I can't find out where that jerk puts his head down. It'd be just like the old days. I would appreciate that, John. That's what friends are for, Bruce. Just meet mine later, like I ask. Look, I think I outstayed my welcome here. I'm, I'm just gonna slip away. Excuse me. Sorry. It's, uh... It's been so nice catching up, Bruce. I miss this. This trust between us. Me too, John. Be in touch. Goodbye, Bruce. Until next time. Intriguing fellow. Certainly not one for decorum. I don't think that outburst went unnoticed. Well, whatever you say about John, he gave me a lead on Riddler's location. Inform Gordon. Tell him to drag up GCPD records on Gotham's East End. And tell him we're on Riddler's trail. Enjoying the view? Eh, hard to do these days. It's one thing for the bad parts of town to get uglier, but when places like Wayne Tower start falling apart, it makes you wonder what's next. Eh, I'll bet Bruce Wayne is wondering the same thing. Seems like the world's got it out for that guy. Spends some time in Arkham, gets drugged through the dirt by the media for something he didn't do. Finally picks himself up, and what happens? Someone bombs his company. Bruce Wayne picked himself up once. He could do it again. Well, he certainly showed us that much, didn't he? You said you had a lead on Riddler. Hiding somewhere in the East End. Why am I not surprised? East End's been a no man's land since Harvey Dent blew it up. I've tried to get more patrols out there, but City Hall's not giving up the funds. The area between 42nd and 48th, more or less lawless. That narrows down the search at least. Looks like gang activity's heating up along 43rd. Uh, I'll see what I can do. Hey, I get it, but we're stretched thin, I told you. Uh, Riddler's a loner. I bet he's avoiding that area. construction site at the center of 46th. Abandoned. Harvey's boys demolished that area, chasing the children of Arkham. But nothing but a crater there. Not really a place for Riddler to have a hideout. The land at the end of 44th was recently purchased anonymously. Well, the only thing there is an old water tower. Hmm. Something feels fishy about that. My gut tells me that's the place. Agreed. Uh, nice work, Batman. Hey, if this lead pans out, Waller will have to eat her words. <laughs> Whatever you said to her at the casino really got up her nose. I have to tell you, I got a bad feeling about her. How so? It's the way she goes after criminals. She's ruthless. She puts her people at risk, and believe me, she doesn't let due process get in her way. So stop at nothing. And I mean nothing to get her man. It doesn't sit right with me. And I don't think she's good for Gotham. As far as law enforcement goes, Jim, you are the best of it. I don't know many cops with as much heart as you. Uh, I appreciate your saying that. Waller, she doesn't see that as a strength. I was ordered to give her updates on breaks in the Riddler case. Well, if there's a chance he's there, we should probably let her know. Don't want to give her ammunition with the governor. She's already got him breathing down my neck about what went down at the casino. Notify Waller. 
She's proven useful so far. Just be careful around her, huh? She moved her people into my downtown precinct without so much as a please or thank you. I tell you, Batman, she keeps on chipping away at my authority. I'm gonna crack. Then let's find Riddler before it comes to that. I'll have my people call her people on the way. Riddler won't feel so clever after we come knock him. I told Waller about our lead on this place. She's caught up in briefings, can't get here for a while. She said she appreciates the cooperation. Not exactly cozy, is it? Let's see what we can learn. Someone's keeping a scrapbook. Vane, isn't he? See no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. Damn it! It's... it's stuck! No way to open it from the inside. Then how do we get out? We go in. After you. Good honest crack house any day. Special Agent Mario Fernandez. Holy crap. He's one of Waller's. One of his pupils is fully dilated. The other's contracted. A clear sign of brain trauma. Huh. There's no sign of a blow to the head. The man bit his tongue clean through. He must have suffered a shock, or a sudden jolt. There's some hemorrhaging from the ears. His eardrums must have burst. He was trying to call for help. The phone isn't getting a signal. Damn it. Me either. He's missing parts of his fingers on the right hand. We saw this before. The victim in the casino. One shoe is missing. The soul of the other one's almost completely melted through. That's a hell of an invitation. Riddler's playing games. Bet he tried to play along. We can learn from his mistakes. Let's find out what he did wrong. Another one of Riddler's sick contraptions. Some kind of murder box, I guess. Well, he was always a wacko, but this takes it to a new level. Won't budge. Must be locked in place.
turn me round, but not the right way, and you might live to see another day. What does it mean? The glass. It's polarized. So it is. It's still warm. There must be some kind of heating element underneath. This thing is built like an oven. You could be cooked alive in there. Prototype of the trap he used on Mori. The armor, extremely sturdy. Ensuring there's no possible way to open them other than solving his riddles. This is an insane way to commit crimes, even for this city. Metal mesh lining the walls. Riddler has converted this entire place into a giant Faraday cage. Faraday what? An enclosure designed to block electromagnetic fields. No signals in or out. Guess it explains why our phones aren't getting signals. Clever son of a bitch. Masks. Each one missing a different facial feature. The senses. They're missing their senses. Like the monkey statues. You're right. There must be a connection. There are blades inside. And a lot of blood. Huh. We know Riddler likes penalizing his victims for wrong answers. Safes with electronic locks. <sighs> Shut tight. These must be the goal of whatever game we're playing. must have been looking for the answer in one of these safes. He chose the wrong one. Cost him his fingers. Hmm. Scratches on the monitor. The polarizing filter has been tampered with. Like in sunglasses. Monitors typically have a polarizing filter to reduce reflection. I don't see anything. Impossible to see with the naked eye. We're going to have to look at it through a polarized lens. Since the monitors have been tampered with, it's likely there's a message on it. One that can only be seen with a polarized lens. You won't know until you're inside the box, though. Hey, I got a hunch. Come here. No matter how careful Riddler is, chances are good he hasn't scrubbed his own computer. Good call. It's worth checking out. He sold technology to Riddler. I talk about strange bedfellows. You know, Waller's been keeping pretty tight tabs on Mori for a while now. She must have known. What does it say? Riddler's not working alone. Just wonderful. More psychos to worry about. He and his colleagues. 
They don't see eye to eye. Apparently, they don't like his beef with me. Hey, maybe we'll get lucky and they'll kill each other. I recognize some of the names on this list. They're all Waller's people. Names, addresses, phone numbers. We have to warn her. First, we have to get out of here. One shoe, melted. Must belong to poor Cinderella over there. The floor of the box heated up while the agent was inside. He tried standing on one foot to save the other causing that shoe to catch on fire. When he exited the box, he tried to put the fire out, but couldn't. So he threw off his shoe. Statues. I'm starting to sense a theme here. That's an agency issue pistol. That's a hell of a jolt. I saw it take down Riddler's goons at the casino. It was impressive. Gotta give it to Waller. Her people have great tech. Take a look at this. Huh. Well, that's the same kind of body cam the GCPD issues its officers. Maybe there's a clue on the recording. Can't hurt to look. Because you've been so candid with me, I'm giving you a chance your other comrades won't get. A chance at getting out of this alive. We'll catch you. The agency... They'll I shouldn't have to remind you that you've been chasing me for years. And I've always been two steps ahead. If you win the game, I'll let you go free. And you'll get a consolation prize. An exclusive sneak peek into how I'm going to kill all of your colleagues. <laughs> now how is that for motivation? Screw you! <laughs> He had the agent bound while he beat him. You got a VR in that cowl or something? Something like that. I've got all the pieces of Riddler's puzzle. Now I need to know what order they happened in. here where his body cam fell off. Once he found he couldn't call for help, he saw the message on the monitors and willingly put himself inside the murder box. The agent's shoe caught fire inside the murder box, so he opened it in a panic. As soon as he was out of the box, he ripped off the burning shoe and threw it. Somewhere in the confusion, he must have missed something crucial. From where he lost a shoe, the agent beeline for the wall of safes. 
He opened one, but chose poorly. The blade sliced off his fingers. And there he met his end. Though it's still unclear how and when his eardrums could have burst. The agent made a number of mistakes. Mistakes we can avoid. The heat inside the box forced him to run out before he could... Before he could get Riddler's next clue. Poor bastard couldn't withstand the heat. The bat suit's armor is heat resistant. It'll buy me more time to find Riddler's next clue. Getting inside the box and starting the game is the only way we're getting out of here. This is insane. You know that, right? The last man who went in there is dead. There's a good chance it'll kill you too. Don't worry, Jim. I'm not going to lose this game. I'm not so sure. But if you say a thing, you usually do it. Monkeys. See no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. But which one is he referring to? Whichever one it is, the correct safe will have a face with those senses removed. Yeah, I'll check. Ah, oh, damn it. It's still locked shut. They should unlock when I open this door. Congratulations! You're almost done. That is, if you can withstand my short-range ultrasonic device. Let's test it out, shall we? The riddle! Use it to open the safe! I'll put a stop to this damn noise! Just in case. Damn. Now, oh, for the love of God, whatever's in that safe, it'll be worth all this pain. It's a homing missile. What does it home in on? Looking at its schematics now. A signal. A radio signal. A signal. That's... That's how he died. How who died? That's how they'll all die. Riddler. Maury sold me missiles for all of my enemies. Everyone on my list gets one. Most won't even know what's coming. For a brief second, their dull existences will light up. Turn yourself in while you still have a chance. Don't say stupid things, okay? Not when you've just started earning my respect. I'm trying to get a handle on you, Batman. Partnering with Gordon is one thing. From what I remember of the old days, he's harmless enough. Yeah, we'll see about that when you're in cuffs. But the Agency, they're a natural enemy to people like you and me. You must be desperate if you're making friends with them. You must be really up against the ropes to want that government scum in your corner. Whatever the Agency is, you are worse. You're the one torturing and killing innocents. You think any of these agents are innocent? The Agency uses people, Batman. Corrupts them, breaks their minds. 
I wasn't always like this. The agency made me. Oh, this is garbage. Yeah, Waller's a hard ass, sure, but she had nothing to do with why he's so messed up. I didn't say Waller, did I? This goes way before her time. But I don't forget. That's the thing about having a mind like mine. You remember everything. Even the things you'd rather not. Whatever happened to you, it doesn't let you off the hook. You're still responsible for all the pain you've caused. You think I'm asking for mercy? I was running things in Gotham before you could walk. I just wanted to see if the man who claims he fights for justice is really as good as he believes. But then, you already answered that for me, didn't you? When you offloaded my puzzle on your friend. Why don't you tell Gordon here what happened to Lucius Fox? Watch out, Commissioner. For all his preaching, Batman knows when to sacrifice a pawn to win the game. It was a smart move. Getting out of the way of the blast. Something only a pragmatist would do. I would never give up an innocent life. Not even to save my own. <laughs> That's not what it looks like from here. Gordon doesn't know what to make of any of it. Trust is hard-earned, yet easily lost. Isn't it, Commissioner? Come on now. Don't get your tights in a twist. I knew you weren't sharp enough to do it on purpose. There's no room at the top for schoolboys who are too squeamish to fight in the gutter. You don't have what it takes to be a player in this town. Not without giving up those values you hold so dear. Game on! I'll wait for Waller and pass on what we found. She won't be happy when she finds out Riddler knows about every agency operative in Gotham. I don't blame her. If they were my cops, no one would be sleeping till we found this Riddler guy. Just keep your eyes open, Jim. In the meantime, I'll stay on Riddler's tail. Hey, hey, hold up a sec. What Riddler said in there about the agency, smoke and mirrors, you ask me. But the thing about Lucius Fox and the blast at Wayne Tower? You gotta level with me. You got some connection with that Wayne Tech guy you didn't tell me about? Riddler loves playing mind games, Jim. This was one of them. Don't fall for it. You expect me to buy that? You've never lied to me before. I don't like it. I gotta say, the fact I had to learn about it from Riddler instead of you, it doesn't sit right with me at all. I thought we had some trust, you and I. What do you expect me to do with this? Am I just supposed to sit on my hands? Pretend I never heard any of it? You're my friend, Joe. I shouldn't have lied to you. You're damn right. I mean, I wasn't born yesterday. I know you probably have a network of civilians working for you. You can't do the kinds of things you do without a gigantic support system. You don't want the connection getting out? Fine. But don't think lying did you any favors. Batman. Uh, I'll be waiting to hear from you. sounded like he believed you, that Lucius Fox's death has nothing to do with Batman. Still, Gordon's dangerously close to figuring out who you are. If he does find out, I have no idea how he'll react. It's not a chance you could afford to take. For a moment there, I didn't think he was going to buy it. But I'm confident my secret is safe. Well, he's too close for my comfort. I'm sorry. But he is. You were radio silent for so 
long. Tell me, did you find out how Lucius died? This is a missile I found in Riddler's workshop. An explosion at Wayne Tower. We were thinking about it all wrong. The puzzle wasn't an explosive. It was an emitter. When it was solved, it emitted a signal. You heard it earlier. If allowed to play too long, it becomes a large signal. Dear God! You did solve the box. We just didn't know it. The Batcave Scrambler blocked the signal. Poor Lucius. Wayne Tower offered no such protections. Our tight little family has gotten smaller because of it. It was the three of us looking out for each other. Now it's two. I still have you. And we still have each other. I won't always be here, Bruce. I I'm sorry. Losing Lucius in such gruesome fashion, it puts me in rather a morbid mood. The list of agency operatives from Riddler's workshop. He plans to do the same thing to them. It's a hit list. It's only useful if he has a way to target the agents, though. And I doubt he's sending them all puzzle boxes. Hold on, let's just walk through it. get that tea. Still has 
fast functioning missiles. Once he finds out I've blocked his targets, he may decide to launch indiscriminately. With the signal, I might be able to divert them. Tiffany gave me this the day Lucius died. Let's put it to good work. It's not a theory I really want to test. So we had better find Riddler first. There is always Riddler's second in command. Eli Nabel, arrested after his attack on the casino. None of the authorities have gotten anything out of him yet. Unknown contact. What is it? That John guy from the funeral from Arkham. Who actually sounds like he's keeping his word. John thinks that more he can get us Riddler's location. You believe him? Maybe we should go back to the beginning. Bring Rumi Mori up on the back computer. Either of them could potentially lead me to him. The question is, which is more likely to help you? Businessman. Given the right incentive, he could be persuaded to talk. He sure can't have any love for Riddler after his attempted murder at the casino. I'd say he'd respond better to a more genteel approach, peer to peer as Bruce Wayne. However, the agency is watching him. If Waller finds out that Bruce Wayne sought to parley with Murray, she'll not be best pleased. On the other hand, Riddler's lieutenant, Eli Nabel, took a go at me in the casino, put up quite a fight. Cracking it will be tougher, more physical, certainly a job for Batman. He's currently in Waller's custody in the GCPD holding cell. Interrogating Nabel, there would be a visible endorsement of Waller's authority. Gordon won't like it. I'll meet with Maury. I'm sure Bruce Wayne can find a way to reason with him. Riddler's people are here, watching Mori. Riddler's agency data should make him easy to tag. I need you to keep an eye on him for me. Maybe cause a distraction if I need it. Gotta be careful here. They're following his every move. All this attention must be annoying to a man like Mori. I see them. All of these agents were on Riddler's list. Even without access to their phones, he'll still try to kill them all somehow. Do whatever it takes to find him, Bruce. I never want to see another video like the one with Lucius. No time to waste. Mr. Wayne. To what do we owe this honor? Good evening, Mr. Mori. I've come to talk.
Your visit is unexpected, Mr. Wayne. What can I do for you? A private matter between friends. We have a mutual enemy, Maury. He can't go unchecked. Men like you and I have many enemies, Mr. Wayne. I am sure we share more than one. You know the one I mean. The authorities are watching my every move. Apparently, I'm a person of interest. There's really not much I can offer you other than a drink and a seat at the roulette wheel. Not while I'm being shadowed. We need privacy. Lose the agents. Done. They just got an order to sweep the perimeter. Should give you a couple of minutes at least. Impressive, Mr. Wayne. Oh, we haven't even scratched the surface. What can I do for you? Information. About the Riddler. Why would I do that? You sold the Riddler weapons that killed one of my oldest friends. Lucius's blood is on your hands. That was never my intent. I'm sorry for your loss. There's an easy way to make up for it. <sighs> I dealt with that maniac. It's true. But I was done after the first delivery. Riddler wanted more. Everything he could get his hands on. He even wanted me to hand over one of my biotech companies. I said no. That's why he attacked you. You have no idea how crazy he is. I only wish I had known it sooner. Actually, I have a pretty good idea. I see that you do. He scared me. I was afraid he'd use my goods in the city. After the explosion at Wayne Enterprises, it turns out I was right. I want you to know, I had no idea the Riddler had marked you as a target. I knew your father, back when he was running Gotham. Our interests often aligned. I would never dishonor his memory. He was a friend, truly one of a kind. And you owe me, for my father's sake. <laughs> that was a long time ago, and favors go both ways. I can help you find the Riddler, Mr. Wayne. I sold him the missile array he's using to pick off his enemies. He won't be very far from it. Everything you need to find him is on that drive. But I need a favor from you first. A favor? Walla has me detained here pending Riddler's trial. She controls all my accounts. I need to get out of the country, and in all haste. You can help with that. Otherwise, I fear my fate is a short, miserable life in a black prison. Somewhere deeply unpleasant. I could do that for you. I knew I could count on your friendship. A chartered plane waits for me at the airport. The pilot will fly me to a safe haven in the Caribbean for the right price. All you have to do is authorize a transfer. You don't want me as an enemy, Mr. Wayne. Our agency friends will be back any second. Let's handle this quickly and without disturbance. Everyone gets what they want. Done. Send me a postcard from the beach. Thank you, Mr. Wayne. I owe you a great debt. If this ever comes to light, I'll keep your name out of it for as long as I can. Thank you. Be careful, Mr. Wayne. That lunatic is not to be trifled with. No, I suggest you make yourself scarce before our agency friends return. Alfred, I've sent you Maury's information. Find me Riddler's location, and fast. The Lady of Dublin. Which is? A cargo ship in Gotham Bay. Good. Send me the location. 
and let Gordon know. Tell him Batman's on the way. some schooling. My friends will be here soon. I'd keep your mouths shut until then. Hostages first. When they're safe, I can find the missiles. Targeting online now. Ready, Bruce. You can't possibly think clunking a few heads is enough to make me roll over. Oversized vermin! Batman! Batman! Agent Avesta. The floor! It's heating up! Playbook, Batman. I know all your shallow tricks. Maury was incapable of learning his lesson. I knew he'd lead you to me eventually. All part of the plan. 
the missiles. Bait. Just like the hostages were bait. I knew you couldn't bear to let these agents die. <laughs> you care too much about the little people. That makes you weak. I saw how you saved Mori. I saw how angry you got about what happened to Fox. You're wrong, Riddler. It makes me a hero. It's what makes me different from you. <laughs> it's why I'm out here, and you're in there, about to meet your maker. My partners were supposed to be here to see this. I guess I can just show them the bodies. I'm going to ask you three questions. Get them wrong, one of these agents gets torn apart. You won't get away with this. You get them right? This happens! I designed this for you, Batman. Gotham's champion of justice will die in an unfair puzzle. Let's get started. We have a lot to get through. I'm curious to see how you'll handle it all! <laughs> it's me you want, not Agent Avesta. Let her go! Oh no, she needs to be in there with you. You can handle the sonic blasts, but her... I estimate three blasts at most before her insides rupture. This one should be easy, Batman. Close to the heart. I solved a puzzle box for the Bat. Now I'm dead. And I mean dismembered. Closed casket for sure kind of dead. Who am I? If you know the answer, please say it. My colleagues will die Speak otherwise. Speak up, Batman. Which one of your dead friends am I? Need a hint? Starts with the letters L and F. Lucius. What was that? I couldn't hear you. Lucius Fox. Very good, Batman. You saved a life. But... Thank you. Batman, don't answer any more of his questions. No, Blake. I won't let you die. Number two. Also completely self-evident. I am black and blue and bleeding from the ears. Who am I? I think he means me. Say it. Don't you dare answer that! Please, don't let him die. Say it! I need an answer. Avesta. The answer is Agent Avesta. You got it, Batman! <laughs> Here's your prize! Oh my god. Come on! What have you done? Enough, Riddler. You made your point. Just one more, Batman. And then it'll all be over. I'll distract him. Just get us out of here. I'm the sharpest mind you'll ever meet. The original genius with Gotham at my feet. Who am I? You're Riddler. Riddler's the genius. Well done, Agent. You answered so quickly, you almost deserve not to get the blast. I'll fire one of the missiles. Use the bad cam to make it target the cage. Use Riddler's trap to protect Iman and myself from the explosion. I like what you're saying, Agent Avesta, but you're not the one I need to hear it from. Missile armed, ready to fire. Who's the genius, Batman? Who's on top of Gotham now? I want to hear it from you. I am. What?
What are you doing? Clever, don't you? You... you don't impress me. You might have bought yourself some time with that trick. Who's the man who's got no time left? The Riddler. Thought you'd get such an easy one right. Those missiles are aimed right at the city. The answer is Batman. be happening! God, I, I didn't think, I didn't think we were going to make it. I, I thought... You put yourself on the line for your friends. You saved them. Agent, are you okay? My ears! I can't hear! It's over, Riddler. Look forward to a padded cell. Well, congratulations, Batman. You managed even in my twisted game to keep everyone alive. But at what cost? Agent Investus suffered, so no one had to die. That can't sit well with you. Can it? Must be an uncomfortable feeling. This entire twisted situation is your doing, Riddler. All blame is on you. And so are the consequences. You came after me, you know. Not the other way around. I made you hurt an innocent woman to get to me. <laughs> oh, my comrades would have been impressed. all up to show them. I thought they'd back me up, even if they didn't agree. 
They... They left me here to deal with you alone. They... They betrayed me. They didn't come. They were all so small-minded. None of them had vision. Unless... Unless that white-faced prick set me up. Never told them to meet me here. the ship down and radio for more medics. That... Riddler, is he... Oh, God damn it. Oh, this isn't good, Batman. The investigation is a dead end without a breathing suspect. We're in trouble. A lot of trouble. I have no idea how we're getting out of it. You don't have to worry, Jim. I'll take the heat for this. I appreciate the thought, but that ain't gonna cut it. Oh, Waller is gonna come down on us like a thunderbolt. Thunderbolt? I'm the whole goddamn hurricane. I'm about to blow both your asses off the side of this ship. This is a goddamn mess. Agent Avesta is deaf. Riddler is dead, and I don't know exactly how, but I know you tampered with my suspect at the casino. Unless you expect me to believe that Mori got out of Gotham all by himself. Batman is clearly being misused as an asset to the GCPD. I'm taking direct control of law enforcement in Gotham, effective immediately. What? Gordon, you're being relieved of your stars. Bumped down to Deputy Ops. You can't demote me. I just did. Don't like it? Go cry to the governor. I generously let this cowboy crap with the Batman go on out of res- Gordon's been fighting the good fight for years. You're delusional if you think you can solve all our problems. You're the ones who are deluded. You're so busy gazing into each other's eyes, you can't see the big picture. Take some vacation days, Gordon. I've got sensitive case details to discuss with Batman. We're still in this together, Batman. This doesn't change a thing. This city is about to find itself in a crisis the likes of which it's never known. Riddler had a crew. Not just any crew. The worst criminal minds from all over the world, here in Gotham. You come across anything about them? I'm assuming you've heard of them by now. Riddler expected his friends to back him up tonight. Guess he wasn't as popular as he thought. That fits a theory we have. Evidence from his workshop suggests he was involved in a feud with another member of the group. Dr. Harleen Quinzel, former psychiatrist at Arkham Asylum. She's very elusive keeps her head down. Much more so than that show-off Riddler. He was going to be my way in once we captured him alive. But now I have you to lean on. A man who lives on both sides of the line and knows exactly when to cross it. Yes, you and I will be working together very closely. Bruce.